Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So I just did this project the other day and I thought it was really, really cool. So I did a video a couple of days ago about white vinegar and a bunch of crazy cool things to do with white vinegar. And then I got to thinking, man, I was out of washer fluid in my truck. And so I was like, shoot, uh, I can go down and buy it. And I remember seeing at Walmart, it was like four or five bucks a gallon um, when it used to be like a dollar. I remember it used to be a dollar, like maybe a year ago. Um, <laughs> I mean, that's crazy, right? Four or $5 for a windshield wiper fluid. So I thought, dude, this is insane. Why would, I, I mean, I can afford it, but I was still, still guys, it's saving four bucks The four bucks. I can go buy, you know, a bag of rice or something, right. And go from, you know, being a year of preps to a year and two more weeks of preps. Right. So, um, so yeah, I just did this and I, and it also guys, this is a really cool thing. If you have kids, nephews or whatever, uh, or cousins or whatever, like get them to do this with you. It's really cool. It's fun. It's something active that they can do with their hands. And especially the younger they are, they love it. Okay. So I got all four of my kids they are between four and nine years old, got them together. And we did, um, we, we made windshield wiper fluids. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that here. It's very, very, very simple. So basically, um, I didn't even know if I had all the products, but, but I just wanted to look. So basically, all you need is white vinegar, okay? It does, can be distilled, doesn't matter, but it, any kind of white vinegar. Um, you need some some dishwashing soap. You, do, you, know, you don't need Dawn or whatever. Dawn is totally fine. It's awesome, but it can be any brand as long as it is dishwashing soap. I would not get something with like, I don't think dishwashing soap would have this, but I wouldn't get like hand soap. I would get dishwashing soap, okay? And then um, you need, uh, you, well, you don't need this, but you could use food coloring, okay? Um, and that's if you want to color it. And some cars, some vehicles, um, they have a gauge that that uh, can tell, and it can tell the water fluid based on the color of, of the fluid. So those are some, some vehicles, but you would know if you have that. Um, okay, the other thing is, um, I looked it up and you don't actually need white vinegar. You could also use rubbing alcohol. You could use vodka. Uh, it actually has 100% the same effect. Um, the difference here is white vinegar is gonna be significantly cheaper, okay? So, so all, all you, oh, and then obviously you need a jug, okay? So we just had a jug, um, we ended up putting it in a five gallon bucket, but I got like a water bottle, a one gallon water bottle jug, um, kind of look like this is the one I, I had. It's just something that I found, um, uh, but did have a spout on the bottom, but it guys, it doesn't matter. Use a milk jug. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You just need a jug. Okay. It can be anything it can be like this or whatever. Okay. So, and by the way, guys, um, you do not need to have a hundred percent like perfect parts per parts per parts here uh, is like, like, like you, you need half a cup or four ounces, I believe is half a cup of uh, vinegar. Um, you need a teaspoon or about like this much, you know, about a quarter size or so, maybe a silver dollar size, maybe a quarter size of, uh, of this and a couple drops of food coloring and that's it in a gallon of water. And, and, you know, guys, if it's six ounces of vinegar, uh, it doesn't matter, right? Like if it's, um, you know, a, a half a dollar size versus a quarter size, uh, you know, it's, it's not going to matter, right? You're, you're just, you're going to have it a little bit more soapy. Um, so I, I would try not to make it too soapy. Um, the other thing here is when it comes to your, your alcohol or vinegar, or whatever you're using, um, if you're in colder climates, this is where you get, um, uh, that that type of uh fluid that doesn't freeze okay so this is really really important so um if you're in colder climates uh what i would do is i would double the amount of vinegar that i'm putting in and, and sometimes you want to do like 300 percent. you do three times if it's really cold out okay um so it, anyway um i'm here in texas it's summertime so i don't have to worry about it but yeah, once I get to like January, February, um, I'll probably continue to do this just because it costs, I mean, guys, this whole thing costs like, shoot, I bet you this costs 25, 30 cents, 40 cents to do all this. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it costs 50 cents, woo, you know, compared to $4 or more. Um, so anyway, so that's just some, some, some things to think about, you know, like there's nothing to it guys. Okay. Now, once you, so, so you, you want to put it all in here. Now, here's the thing that, that I do. Okay. You want to fill up your bottle before you put in, be, be, like, you don't want to put your, your, 
your soap in here and then try to fill it up. If you ever do that, it's hilarious because basically you end up with an entire thing of suds and yeah, you can just keep pouring water in and the suds keep coming out, but those suds is also your stuff, right? You, so your, 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 your contents is also coming out. What you want to do is fill this up with water almost. Okay. So, so maybe you fill it up completely with water and then um, you can pour, you know, out like, I don't know, maybe a, a, a tenth or an eighth of the water. And then you can put your stuff in there. Okay. You can put your vinegar and you can put your um, soap and your couple, if you want to use dye, you can, you don't have to. Uh, and that's it. And then you just shake it up. Okay. Now, the one thing I will tell you as well, uh, and I, I do remember this from my past of doing this when I was a kid is uh, if you really want to get like a purist on this, okay, you can use distilled water. Distilled water uh, is going to be less hard um, or uh, an extremist way to do this would be to uh, take water like out of a dehumidifier. If you have a dehumidifier in your house, um, but you don't need to do that guys. You can use water hose water. Okay. Because you might be like, Oh, there's calcium in the water. Well, dude, you're putting, you know, you're putting vinegar or alcohol in there, vinegar eats calcium. Okay. So um, if, if you know your chemistry, so anyway, so that's it guys. And then you just you mix it up, pour it in. So I went ahead and, you know, poured two, I think it was a gallon and a half or two gallons into my truck. Uh, and then I kept another gallon uh, just on the side uh, in the, in the garage. And that was it guys. So anyway, guys, hopefully that helps you out right there. A really cool way to save some money should never have to go out and spend, you know, $10, $20 on this stuff to get yourself a couple bottles of it. You can mix it up for 50, for 50 cents or less probably. So anyway, talk to you soon. Every single day, guys, I got videos coming out for you. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for all of you who are subscribed. You guys are absolutely awesome. Thank you. I'll see you on the next video.